babies. Hi, my name's Ellie. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey, new mama, if you are a new mama, or a soon-to-be new mama, or maybe you're a seasoned mama. Any kind of mama will do. Uh, or a dada, <laughs> if you're a new dada. Uh, I'm glad that you're here. I have an 11-month-old daughter, and I am expecting another daughter next month. So, I... I've been pregnant for a while. I'm kind of doing this because I was meeting so many new pregnant women and having already gone through my first pregnancy so recently, I, um, I just had such a strong urge to share what I had experienced. So today's video, three books that I read to prepare for natural childbirth with my first pregnancy. The first one, my husband and I actually read this one together. It is the Birth Partner, Complete Guide to Childbirth for Dads, Doulas, and All Other Labor Companions. This is the fourth edition. It's by Penny Simkin. My husband and I read this together because obviously the birth partner. It was such a great bonding experience. I think we started reading this even before we started Bradley Method classes. I'll do a video on the Bradley Method because it is, it, I don't know, I think it's, it's one of the um, lesser known forms of preparing for childbirth and we would just read it in bed before we would fall asleep we would take turns reading it out loud i have to say the information it's a little dry it's kind of hard to get through but you know what if you read it aloud with your partner sometimes maybe in a funny accent you can get through it um we did not read the whole thing we kind of jumped around to just like the specific sections that were if we wanted to know about really one of the things I think we learned best from this book was how the uh, laboring mother will find her own ritual during labor. A woman actually talks about how she was breathing through contractions and she, her husband was standing next to her and he had a hole in his t-shirt and she just focused on breathing through that hole in his t-shirt and that was her ritual and he turned away from her for a second and she like lost it and was like I need the hole in your shirt come back and so you know it's just it's it's weird little stuff like that weird little mind games that we that we have to use to get through birth I'm gonna do a whole birth video on my first uh natural childbirth and let me tell you there was some weird stuff that my mind came up with to get me through those last few contractions. Um, <laughs> but more to come. Second book that I read was The Womanly Art of Breastfeeding. This is oh, the eighth edition. You can find this book in like most thrift stores. The Leche League International, I guess it's their leading source of breastfeeding support and information. I know it seems odd that I would bring up a book about breastfeeding to prepare me for natural childbirth, but obviously that was something that I wanted to do. Because I think it just gives a really clear picture of the natural instincts of the human body, especially uh, between mother and child. Once you get about halfway through, it kind of dives into like specific issues, like, um, mastitis or clogged ducts kind of only need those as like a reference you don't have to read the entire book oh, there's there's these uh tears toolkits like how to get your uh extended family to help with chores around the house this one's good your grandchild is breastfed so this is a good way to talk to grandparents about breastfeeding. I'm so surprised now when I talk to women who are apprehensive about breastfeeding. I believe, at least, that part of that is because they don't feel comfortable doing it in front of older generations. Just not something that we talk about. Some people who breastfed are very open about it. Their kids were raised around it. But I don't think most people are. So there's a sheet in here about your grandchild is breastfed. Um, and it just, it, it, you know, it's something you can just rip out and put up on the fridge or, you know, make a copy, email it to all of them. I don't know. 
however you want to handle that situation is completely up to you. Don't be ashamed of your decisions. It is so important that you and your baby do what's best for you. So, womanly art of breastfeeding. That was number two. Number three, and my absolute favorite, is Ina Mae Gaskin's Guide to Childbirth. The biggest reason this book is so great is because it has numerous positive birth stories uh, right in the first few chapters. Um, and that is so important when you're preparing for a natural childbirth. It's truly a mental game. I think it was something that definitely helped. It also has um, a ton of information, uh, like medical uh, interventions that you may come in contact with. The sphincter law. Yeah, it's exactly what you think it is. Get the book. Read about it. Just Google it. Whatever. Um, I'll probably do a no, I'm not going to do a video just on sphincter law, but I will talk about some things uh, that were really good for me to know about before I went in to have a baby. I hope you stay tuned for another video. I hope you like my three book recommendations. By all means, put a comment below if you have any questions or thoughts or some of the books you read to prepare for a natural childbirth. I'd love to hear about those. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications so you can see my next video. Like I said, I have so much more to share and I can't wait to see you again. The camera is shaking because, <laughs> because it's sitting on the bed and the cat is scratching herself. Sorry. Your butthole tightens up. <laughs>